Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your love reading for November 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below if you're on YouTube, or you can text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, clarity, and insight for Sagittarius's for love for November 2024? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine? We have the King of Cups in the upright for energies prior to November 2024. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below if in YouTube for, or click the Vimeo link in YouTube for who is haunting you, why were you ghosted, and what do you need to bury? So I'm doing a kind of a Halloween theme for this time of year. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright for energies in November 2024. In my YouTube playlist, or your 2025 sun moon readings that continue to put come out put your request in the comments i'll put you in queue 2024s are still in there see if they rang true for you or someone you know we end on the temperance card of the upright which is your card the card is sagittarius and then finally as you move out of november into december and then finally look me up on youtube facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate and support my efforts Always greatly appreciated. Sagittarius says, let's see what is going on here. Um, I feel as though prior to November, you have met somebody who you feel is perfect. The King of Cups to me is the, the guy that everyone wants out of the deck. Like, I, I guess it depends on who you're into. But the King of Cups in the upright is known for not letting his emotions get out of control. He's known for being an ideal partner, an ideal parent. Um, he's very empathetic. He's very kind. He's a very good listener. He's very good at mediating things. Um, he's not really great when it comes to money. Um, but other than that, he's a really, really good guy. So I feel as though you've met this person and you're like, oh, thank God. You have the maturity, the emotional maturity that I've been looking for. And that was prior to November and you making that connection and with the ace of pentacles in the upright now you're kind of wondering what are the possibilities in regards to commitment is this a viable relationship is it going to work in a practical sense is this somebody that i can build things with you know build a life with build property with build a house with um you know build a business with things of that nature so you are really thinking about it i mean emotionally it's great the feeling is there but now practically you're wondering how is it going to work could you have a new beginning with this person and a commitment that is going to be everlasting and I feel November into December, you're you're kind of, I'm not going to say struggling, but you're kind of throwing that around in your mind, trying to come to sort of some sort of conclusion. I feel like you're a little out of of balance to an extent, and you're you're just saying to yourself, okay, you know what? I have to calm down here. I have to not let my emotions kind of get the best of me and run all over the place and make a decision um, that I shouldn't be making. I just need to slow things down. I need to breathe. I need to be mindful. I need to work with what's in the present. What situation is going, am I going to find the best piece is, is what I believe you're doing. And you're, you're making sure that you're not in any rush to kind of run into anything. Um, it's often interesting to me with the temperance card in the upright because, you know, in this, she's passing, you know, um, water from one cup to the other, which is, you know, a really, it's kind of a soothing action to me. Um, I often find so, and, and the words here, just, you know, earth and water, pleasure and pain, life and death, everything in moderation. So, you don't want to do anything that's kind of, you don't want to be head over heels. You don't want to be over the moon. You want to make sure that you're staying very balanced. You're keeping your emotions very much in check as you move forward. So let's see what's going on here. Why is the King of Cups in the upright here for Sagittarius's energies prior to November? Who's this person? What's this energy? Why are you showing me the King of Cups in the upright? Okay, we have the, seems like for a period of time you're indecisive about this person. Oh, because... I feel as though either this person reminds you of a heartbreak that you had or you had heartbreak with this person. So you really don't know what to make out of them. I think at another at another time, they weren't such a great person. And I almost feel like they're resurfacing. 
and now you're kind of wondering, well, what am I going to do now? Um, just kind of listening or seeing how you feel about things, not trusting really what you see. Sometimes the two of um, swords in the upright isn't just a mental card for me. It's an intuitive card for me. It's really, you know, sensing how you feel. Um, but either this person is, is something about them very similar to a previous loss you've had, or you've experienced a really, really tough time with them previously. So, but now I feel like they're a different person. Yeah. So the four of wands, the reverse means that you had some sort of collision of course was on collision with them. Um, previously, I feel as though, uh, a really tense relationship you had, the two of you were not harmonious at all. Uh, one of you might've been asked to move out or one of you might have moved out, um, really unstable, um, unwelcoming relationships. So at another time, um, it really wasn't a good thing. And now I feel as though this person's matured and now you're going, well, okay, they're a different person now. This is a totally different game here. Um, what am I supposed to do with this? And here's where you're taking into consideration. Could the commitment happen again? I do feel it's like it's someone from your past. If it's not someone of your past, it's somebody who reminds you of your past or it could be a past life connection. If you're, you know, believe in that. Um, we have the five of wands in reverse. Yeah. You don't, you don't have any of the, 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 you know, butting heads and locking horns that you did before with this person. Before you guys were always arguing and there was conflict over stuff and priorities and you wanted one thing and they wanted the other thing and it was chaos. It was always like that. It's not like that now. Now it seems like this, you know, uh, communicating with this person seems to be going a lot smoother. It feels like they're, they're very focused. It feels like they don't want to you know, play games anymore. They're not being petty and things like that. So you're being really, really responsive to how they're being. I'm going to pull one more card before I speak on the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so I, there, there's a situation where with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I feel as though you keep on going back to the type of person that they were. And that, that's fair enough. Um, because they were very jealous and they were very possessive. And if there's anything you guys do not like is that someone being jealous, someone being possessive, someone trying to exert ownership over you. So, you know, you are keeping this in mind. And then with the Ten of Swords in reverse, I get the sense also that you're, you're dealing with what happened in regards to that. So knowing them as a different person, the pain that it caused you. But I think you've moved past it. I think you've recovered from it. I think you've that that trauma happened then and it had to end and it ended very unpleasantly. But now you're kind of coming out of that. Um, I feel you were very hurt or you were very bitter or something. And now I feel a little more forgiveness is kind of coming in. Um, why is the temperance card here in the upright? But here, as I said, November moving into December, you are not rushing into anything. Okay, we have the world card in the upright, which says to me, that chapter was that chapter when then that was happening. Now this could be something else. So I do feel like you are open to the possibilities of a reunion or, or something new being spawned. Um, additional messages, please, for the temperance card in the upright. We have the page of wands and the reverse. There's a little bit of stubbornness, I feel. Um, I feel as though people are kind of telling you, you know, this could happen again. It could work out. But I see you kind of turning a deaf ear to them. I feel like you don't want to, um, you don't want to kind of listen to that. You don't want to, because I feel as though there's a part of you that says, if you go ahead and you do this, you're going to have to say that you're wrong in some way. And you guys do not like to be wrong at any time. So I feel like that's part of the, the stubbornness that's kind of coming um, a, a, along with it, where you won't speak that this could happen, where you don't hear that this could happen. Um, but the can cups and the upright is here again. And I feel as though you know this person is a different person now. They're very different from what they were. And I think you're having it very hard, uh, finding it very difficult not to have that pull to them. So, and, and reconsider it. But like I said, you're just, you're not in any rush. Let's just, you're, you're feeling your feelings out. Um, you know, like I said before, not trying to um, be very uh, overly exuberant, okay? Overindulge and things of that nature. Play it cool, in essence. So that's what I have for you all. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorder or live reading. Just click click on the link tree below if you're on YouTube, or you can text me at 646-902-5715. Um, otherwise, check out the Vimeo reading, um, which is in the link in YouTube, and it's a Halloween theme. 
theme, which is who is haunting you? Why were you ghosted? And what do you need to bury? So I think that could be kind of interesting in my playlist or your 2025 sun moon readings, YouTube playlists. I have to mention that lately. Um, if, uh, and I'm not finished. So put your, uh, put your request in the comments. I'll put you in queue. Um, 2024 are still in there. See if they rang true for you or someone else. And then finally look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, like, share, subscribe, donate, and support of my efforts. That is always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Sagittarius says, I will see you in your Vimeo reading next. Adios for Veronica Garnett. Bye.